Hi, my friends! Welcome to the channel English Professionally, and this English lesson is mostly for intermediate and advanced students. So it's about this structure have done with modal verbs. Okay, very good. So let's have a look at this table and let's try to understand when we need to say should have done, could have done, would have done, may have done, might have done, and must have done. So, really, these things aren't for beginners. Anyway, okay, let's look at the first modal verb, should. So, how do we use this modal verb? Yeah, talking about the past, present, and future, okay? Let's start with present simple, okay? For example, I can say, I should call him. I should call him now and it's about the present. If I want to say something about the future using this modal verb, it's also easier. So I say should plus verb. So I should, for example, I should visit him tomorrow. I should visit him tomorrow. So, my friend, you see, it's about tomorrow, but it doesn't matter. So, we say should plus verb. So, I should visit him tomorrow. Okay, if you want to talk about the past, you need to use this structure, should have plus the thought form. Look, so if it's about the past, for example, if it's about yesterday, so I need to say, I should have, right, should have plus the thought form. I should have called him. For example, yesterday. I should have called him yesterday. Or I should, I should have visited him, for example, last week. Last week. So, should have called should have visited. It's about the past. Only this way. Only this may, way, my friend, is correct. Okay, let's talk about could. Yeah, about could. So, we can use it. Talking about the present. So, could do. For example, you could tell me it now. You could tell me it now. It means that uh, it's a good idea, so it's uh, a good idea, so it's possible for you to do it. So it's about now, yeah? So it can be about the future. So you could uh, tell me it, not only now, but you could tell me it tomorrow. So it's also okay, it's also okay, yeah, to say it. So you could tell me it tomorrow. So, we use this small verb for the present and for the future. So, if you are talking about the past, you can use could do, so could plus verb, or could have done, could have plus the third form. So, if it's about our ability, if it's about our ability, uh, for example, I could work, I could work all day, I could work all day. So, if I say so, it's the past form of could. It means that it was possible for me. It was possible for me. It was possible for me. And uh, so I did it. It was possible for me. So there is another structure. Could have done. It's about an imaginary situation. For example, I could have. I could have passed. I could have passed the test. So you see, it's about an imaginary situation. So we imagine it. In fact, in fact, I didn't. So I didn't pass it. Or in other words, I failed it. I failed it. So we use this structure for something, yeah, which happened and we regret about it. So we'll feel sorry or we will 
we feel pity so but maybe we want to change the situation so I hope you understand it so let's revise it shortly I should call him now I should visit him tomorrow I should have called him yesterday I should have visited him last week you could tell me it now or tomorrow it's a good idea so we use could in the past if it's about our ability so I could work all day it was possible so we use can in the present and could in the past it was possible for me and if it's about an imaginary situation we use could have done look I could have passed the test so in fact I didn't pass it but uh, it was possible I could have done it next would do and would do for the present and for the future for example I would do it I would do it now or it's also possible talking about the future I would do it later it's okay it's like I could it's like I could so I could do it now I could do it later so it means that uh, I think I need to do it now I think I need to do it later it's like I need to I need to do it I need to do it I think it's good I think it's good to do it to do it so now later and so on so if it's about the past we need to say would have done would have done for example I would so you know I would have for example if I were you I could say uh, I would have watched more videos I would have watched more videos yesterday yesterday I would have watched more videos I would have watched more videos so it's my recommendation it's my recommendation for you it's my recommendation for you so we often use this structure with conditionals 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 so if I were you for example if I were you yeah right so we normally say I was but if it's about conditionals we say I were you if I were you so you need to remember the structure if I were you I would do it so it means that it's a good idea for you to do it so it's about the present right it's about the present and we call it so the second we call it the second conditional so if it's about the past if I were you I would have done it so I would have done it yesterday it's also possible it's also possible if I were you I would have done it yesterday so you see it's conditional free conditional free or it's a mixed conditional so if I were you or if I if I had been in that place I would have done it yesterday so we use it giving some recommendations I'm talking about this structure so it means I need to do it I think it's good to do it so I would do it now I would do it later I would have watched more videos yesterday so it's my recommendation for you okay so conditionals if I were you I would do it so it's about the present so it's the second conditional and if I were you I would have done it yesterday so it's about the past so we see that this part is about the third conditional right my friend so very good so amazing okay so we have more structures with may and might so these structures are very common especially among major speakers so I can say for example I may watch this movie now I may watch I may watch this movie now it's okay 
or I can also use the structure talking about the past. I may watch this movie so next week. So it isn't urgent, so it can wait and so I can do it next week. So you can use may or might. So it means that maybe. So in other words, it means maybe. So maybe I'll watch. Maybe I'll watch this movie. Maybe I'll watch this movie. So now or next week. But you know that maybe isn't a modal verb and we use future simple after it, right? But may and might are modal verbs. So it's another structure. Okay, my friend, and the most difficult thing is uh, yeah, the following. If we look at the past tense. So if it's about the past, it's only this way. May, might, have, plus done, plus the third form. Uh, for example, so I don't know what you did yesterday. And uh, I think that uh, you may you may have gone for a walk. You may have gone for a walk with your dog. With your dog, okay? So I'm not sure at all. So maybe you don't have a dog. So maybe you don't have a dog, just my idea. So you may have gone for a walk with your dog. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that you have a dog. And so I'm not sure that actually you went for a walk with your dog. And I can say, so you may have gone for a walk with your dog. Or you might have gone. You might have gone for a walk with your dog. Okay? So, right. Must. So it's more difficult. So we use must for the present. Like, I must, I must improve my grammar. Yeah, what a good idea. I must improve my grammar. So, excellent. So, it's about the present. Talking about the future. Right, so I can say, I must improve my grammar. So, now, or I must have improved my grammar later, no problem. Anyway, when we talk about the future, we often use another structure. So, we'll have to. We'll have to. So, you know that we can say, I must improve my grammar, or I have to improve my grammar. So, if you say, I must, it's my decision. If you say, I have to, you, have, you need to do it because of some things, because of some, you know, people, for some reasons. So, must or have to. So, we say must without to. Talking about the future, we can say, so I must improve my grammar now, later, or we often say we'll have to. For example, I will have to work really hard to earn much more money. I will have to work really hard to earn much more money. Yeah? Uh, for example, yeah, you can think so. Look, I will have to work. So it means that uh, you'll need to work really hard to earn much more money or to get much more money if you really want to get more money. Okay, let's revise it. So you see, I may or I might watch this movie now next week. Maybe I'll watch this movie now next week. You may have gone for a walk with your dog. So, I must improve my grammar. I have to improve my grammar. Now or later. So, it depends on our plans and our abilities, possibilities and so on, yeah, and other factors. I will have to work really hard to earn much more money. Right. But I have another question for you. So, how will you say must in the past? And if you look at our table, yeah, it's had to. For example, you can say, I had, I had to study very hard, to study very hard, 
to reach this level to reach this level okay I had to study very hard to reach this level so you see it's possible so it doesn't matter must or have to we say had to but sometimes but sometimes yeah so I hope that you understand that there is a mistake here and will correct it not must have to okay just try to find a mistake try to find a mistake okay you have some time and uh, I'll correct it soon okay and I really hope that you can see it much better now so you see it's will have to must and will have to and so I don't know really how it happens so when I was thinking about must I was also thinking about have to and so that's why it was here but of course I meant another thing so must have done like here have done have done it's it's what we wrote here it's exactly what we left here or what we wrote here so must have done so what's the difference so we say had to and must have done right so look let's look at this example again so you may have gone for a walk but um, okay I have a friend I have a friend and I know that my friend has a dog okay so my friend has a dog I know I know that uh, he goes for a walk with his dog every day I know he goes for a walk with his dog every day every day so I know I know this thing so in this case I can say another thing right in this case I can say another thing what will it be it will be so not he but not you but he must have gone he must have gone for a walk with his dog yeah so it means I'm sure I'm almost sure I'm almost I am almost sure he must have gone for a walk with his dog so it's another meaning and you know my friend it doesn't matter he she it so we use have after modal verbs so must have must have gone may have gone might have gone it doesn't matter that we have here really it doesn't matter it has another meaning so I'm almost sure that he must have gone for a walk with his dog okay my friend so okay I'll try so to make up one more sentence so you must have eat something really tasty yesterday or you must have eaten right please correct me if I'm mistaken so you must have eaten you must have eaten something really tasty something really tasty yesterday right I don't know why I wrote here why I wrote it here I know that people like eating tasty things and so I'm almost sure that you must have eaten something really tasty yesterday but of course I can be mistaken so and if I feel that I'm mistaken if I think that maybe the chances are very low that it really happened so I can say okay you might have eaten or you may have eaten so it depends on the context my friends okay so you see I had to study very hard to reach this level you may have gone for a walk with your dog or you might have gone for a walk with your dog yeah my friend has a dog I know he goes for a walk with his dog every day so he must have gone for a walk with his dog I'm almost sure so you must have eaten something really tasty yesterday 
Okay, my friends, thank you yeah, for this amazing experience. I'm really grateful to you for everything. I really appreciate, I highly appreciate, my friends. And you know, yeah, so I'll be brief. This lesson isn't for beginners and this information is mostly for the following levels. So strong intermediate level, upper intermediate and advanced level. So I hope you really enjoy yeah, learning English. And I also believe that it's very important not to waste time. So you know that uh, life, our life is very short to waste time. And uh, I wish you, so you know, fantastic and splendid days. Thank you, my friends. Good luck. Bye.